the training on like the p- talent management and the human capital uh, aspects of the training have kind of helped something I've been kind of focusing on over the last couple of years where looking at some of the high potentials on my team and making sure I'm giving them opportunities as well as feedback uh, and kind of making sure that they're progressing so that they can kind of um, make the most of, 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 of their position and their career at Savage as well as uh, it's kind of neat to see people kind of progressing, um, g- you know, when you give them opportunities. Uh, at times, uh, especially if you're a person who's been at a, at a company for a long time like I have, you can start to think that maybe the challenges and issues that you have are kind of just isolated to your company. And then, but by having others here, you kind of can um, see that while some of the challenges and issues that we're facing are basically pretty generic and actually everyone's got them. And then it's good to get kind of, you know, their perspectives on how they've dealt with it or are dealing with it. And then kind of using that against with what you're doing to try to solve it. Uh, for those challenges and issues. So the thing that I like about RBL is that it really just doesn't talk about theories or kind of ideas, but really how do you take some of the principles that you're teaching or some of the concepts you're teaching and, and how do you make it like alive in your organization or in your business? And so um, that's the thing that I've liked about the, the two times I've, I've worked with RBL is that you can see how you can take this back to your organization and make changes and, and, and help improve what you're trying to do. And so that's to me is what's really great about the training that we've received.